What are the signs and symptoms of a lumbar disc prolapse? Whenever a disc prolapse happens in the lower portion of the spine which is known as lumbar spine, what kind of symptoms or what kind of problems can a patient experience? So for the first time whenever a disc prolapses, the patient usually feel very severe pain in the back and the muscles of the back go in acute muscle spasm and it gets difficult for the patient even to remain standing and they can even fall down. But this does not happen in everyone. In some patients the disc pain or the back pain can come slowly over a period of months or years. Once the disc prolapses and it starts compressing on the nerve, then the symptoms of nerve compression start appearing which can be in the form of pain along the course of that sciatic nerve known as sciatica. This pain can be uh, along the back of buttock or front of thigh pain can be even in the knee or in the lower leg below the knee even in either in the outer portion of the leg or inside in the inner portion of the leg this pain can radiate up to the heel can be felt on the dorsum of the foot, foot means the top of the foot or on the bottom of the foot depending on what part of the sciatic nerve is getting compressed similarly the patients along with pain these patients can also start feeling numbness and weakness in the similar reasons like there can be numbness around the knee if L3 nerve is getting compressed there can be numbness on the dorsum or the top of the foot if L4 nerve is getting compressed there can be numbness in the great toe if L5 nerve gets compressed and there can be numbness along the bottom of the foot if S1 nerve gets compressed similarly there can be weakness like foot drop or weakness in the knee that the knee can buckle when you are walking or it gets difficult to put weight on one leg if there is weakness in any of the muscle groups of the lower leg now this pain can be in the form of stabbing, burning type or it can be just a feeling of heaviness or ache in the leg. The pain usually comes on walking and gets relieved on lying down. Most of the cases of slip disc present with pain in one's, one leg but there are cases when the disc, slip disc starts compressing the nerves of both sides and patients can come with pain in both the legs also. Now in the lower portion of the spine there are also nerves which control our urine and stool. These nerves are present in the center. So whenever a disc prolapse happens in the center and starts compressing these nerves, the patients can have problems with passing urine and stools. What kind of problems can they have? Like they can have difficulty or hesitancy in starting to pass urine. They take more time to pass urine. The, the, flow, or the, the flow or stream of urine that slows down or they get intermittent micturition or at the end of passing urine they have a feeling of incomplete emptying of bladder that they have not completely emptied the bladder and that is why they need to pass the urine multiple times which means the frequency of urination increases similarly they can have chronic constipation or they may have to apply more force while passing urine and stools or there can be numbness around the area of passing urine and stools if there are urinary or uh, symptoms of difficulty in passing stools then sometimes these patients can need emergency surgery otherwise other than that more than 90% of these cases can be managed even without surgery